at the MGM Grand in Detroit, Michigan for another momentous occasion in the sport of boxing. It is the first time that a women's boxing match has headlined a boxing event on premium national television. And this is one of the women who will be taking part. Sylvia Sabatos, a longtime veteran in the weight neighborhood of 147 to 160. All five of her professional losses to this point have come to top 10 fighters. Former world title challenger, fought Nikki Adler for the WBC super middleweight title back in 2015. And as wild as it may sound, this may be her toughest test here tonight against Clarissa Shields, who is in just her second professional fight. But of course, that speaks to the immense ability of the two-time Olympic gold medalist. But Sabatos is definitely no pushover. You'll be facing a fighter of this caliber in just your second professional fight. I think for anyone else would be considered a risk for Clarissa Shields is most certainly a respectable opposition here in Detroit. See Sabatos' trainer, Zoltan Petrani, getting Sabatos ready, and now you hear the ovation of the crowd. As Clarissa Shields makes her entrance for her first professional contest, in the state of Michigan, a homecoming years in the making. Just 1-0, her lone victory coming over Franchon Cruz de Zern, her longtime amateur rival. That fight was televised by HBO. Another glass ceiling shattered in women's boxing by Claressa Shields, and tonight another one. The women's fight headlining on premium cable for the very first time. Shields continues to break barriers in this sport. A lively crowd here in the Motor City. Marissa Shields just 21 years of age and already a pair of Olympic gold medals. The win over Sylvia Sabatos, who knows? Maybe a professional world title could be next. All right, we are set to get this one going. Let's send it down to our ring announcer for the official introduction. And again, welcome to the event center here at MGM Grand Detroit for Showbox, the new generation. Brought to you by Salida Promotions in association with MGM Grand Detroit and Showtime. All of this evening's matchups have been sanctioned under the auspices of the State of Michigan Unarmed Combat Commission. Representative in attendance is Scott Affolder. The inspector in charge is Mr. Kevin McMillian. Your matchmaker is Mr. Dennis Turner, and your promoter for tonight's event is Mr. Dimitri Salita. The judges for this contest are as follows. First, from Lincoln Park, Michigan, Frank Garza. From Copley, Ohio, Ben Rochester. And from New York, New York, Waleska Ralden. And the man in the middle of the fight responsible for keeping it clean and fair is referee Harvey Dock. And now, boxing fans, it's the Showbox main event of the evening. Scheduled for six rounds in the women's middleweight division and for the North American Boxing Federation Women's Middleweight Championship. 
NABF president is Dwayne Ford, and supervisor in attendance is Deborah Hawkins. And now Detroit. Everyone outside the ring is ready. Detroit, are you ready to throw down? Say yeah! Then let's throw down. Introducing the fighters for your main event of the evening. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black and white trunks, standing five feet, seven inches tall. She weighed in at 158 pounds. She comes to the ring with a record of 15 wins and eight losses, with six of those big wins coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of and representing Mishkoltz, Hungary, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sylvia Sunset Savadu. Her opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the purple trunks trimmed in gold and white. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. She comes to the ring undefeated with a record of one win and no losses. Representing the Burston Fieldhouse and fighting out of Flint, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is two-time Olympic gold Medalist Clarissa T. Rex Shields. <laughs> Referee Harvey Dunk with fight instructions. Okay, guys, your trunks up a little, your cup is up a little higher, so this is going to be good. Yours is good. You went over the instructions already. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you. Touch them up. Come out at the back. And we take a look at the tail of the tape for our future, our feature contest. Excuse me. You see Clarissa Shields, just 21 years of age physically, matching up well with Sabados. However, for Shields, this is an easy weight for her to make, and Sabato's probably on the higher end of where she's comfortable fighting as well. Let's see what kind of power these two can carry into the 160 pound division. Certainly, we expect big things from Clarissa Shields, and you see the flash bulbs going off as history being made once again, seemingly every time. Shields steps in the ring. That's exactly what's happening, and she is lighting Sabados up here in the early going. A couple of big right hands snapping the head back of Sabados, and now a left hand connects as well. Shields not wasting any time letting her power shots off. about the experience of Sabados. All the top 10 fighters she's faced, massive right hand connects from Shields again. But despite all of that experience, Sabados looking a little overwhelmed here in the early going. Sabados trying to fire back, but Shields fighting well off the ropes. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Step back. If there was any doubt about whether Shields would be willing to mix it up now that she's in the pro ranks, I think we could toss that aside. Quick, quick, quick. Step back, step back. A little short hooks connecting from Shields on the inside there. A little rough stuff from Sabados. You might have noticed the, the old shoulder to the chin, the veteran move from Sabados, who has been around here in the pro ranks. But I think she's realizing already this may be a different level. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. A monster first round for T-Rex, who is fired up.
Is it okay over here? Yes, yes, yes. And lean that uppercut. You can get her with a good ass uppercut like we worked on before. Come back with your hook to the head. If she's still there, come back with that hook to the head. You hear me? You hear me? How you feel? Feel good? Nice calm down. Nice and calm. Go back out there again. Business. Yeah, body shots. You caught her with a good two count. You caught her with a good two count. two begins and Sabados comes out a little more cautiously here in the second frame than she did in the first. You heard the instructions from the corner of Clarissa Shields. They think she can find her with an uppercut. Well, in the first round, frankly, Shields was finding Sabados with everything she was throwing. But indeed, as Sabados was closing the distance and Shields was finding herself along the ropes, was able to do some good work on the inside. See a few more uppercuts are there, but really that's just nitpicking because here we go again. Shields just unloading, and Sabados might be wobbled. A left hook has Sabados on, on the retreat. Shields just lifting Sabados up with these with these combinations here on the inside. Watch your foot, watch your foot. Don't kick it. from referee Harvey Dock, alleging that Sabados doing a little kicking. I mentioned that Sabados was maybe hoisted up by some of those shots from Shields. But the referee and Shields thought maybe that was a little intentional. Quick, quick, quick. Shields said coming into this fight, the key is to show her that I have no fear of her. I have no respect for her power. And she has shown none to this point. The redness on the face of Sabados. That suggests that she has plenty to respect when it comes to the two-time Olympic gold medalist. Final 10 seconds. Of the second ring of the second frame, more of the same quick, 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 quick. from Clarissa Time. Shields. And you see some of the Olympic teammates of uh, Clarissa Shields, maybe some future professional stars as well. Michaela Mayer on the left. Ginny Fuchs on the right, here in the Motor City, supporting their Olympic teammate. Shorten that three up. On the inside, shorten that three up. You hear me? Shorten that three up. That's all right. Yeah. Don't go in. Yeah. Take the step. Take the little step. Over here to the right. And just wait. Yeah. No, we got to go all the way. To the right. You got to the And how that? Uh -huh. Here you go. Don't kick him. And you heard the final warning from referee Harvey Dock as we begin round three. Harvey Dock warning Sylvia Sabatos, hey, no kicking. Sabatos has spent some time in the kickboxing ranks in her native Hungary as well. So maybe those old instincts coming out. For Clarissa Shields, it's about learning some new instincts. You heard Shields in the corner talking to her corner about some of Sabados' right, conduct. Right, right. She's, saying, she's, she's headbutting me, she's kicking. And we talk about every fight as being a learning experience. Four fighters, colossal left hook rattles Sabados, who hasn't yet learned how to defend against that one. But even this fight is a learning experience for Clarissa Shields. Some of these dirty tactics that maybe you wouldn't encounter in the amateurs. But Sabados, who's been around the block, who's been in world title fights before, she knows how to bend the rules, but she's gonna need to bend them quite a ways to even the score here. And 
Sabados is starting to react poorly to some of these shots. Shields hammers her with a right hook over the top. Sabado starting to get desperate. See the knee lifting up from Sabados again, maybe thinking about throwing another kick. Those are not legal. I don't need to remind you. Shields just having her way here as the bell sounds to end round three. A tremendous night of action here in Detroit, Michigan, presented to you by Salida Promotions. We take a look back at some of the action. It has been all Claressa Shields all the time. Fans came wanting a show from T-Rex, and boy, are they getting one. Shields just too fast, too powerful. And Sabados has been game. Outside of a few headbutts, a few attempted kicks, really hasn't been able to get off and bother let's Shields go, let's go. Let's in up, any man. way. And really now, just start thinking Cross. about how much longer Sabados can last, how much more of this can she take as round four begins. Sabados just walking right in the front door. You have to hand it to her. She is going right into the fire. And Shields more than willing to turn up the heat. Another left hook, Rattle Sabados. Who is looking on shaky legs right now. The doc separates the fighters and really we should be keeping a close eye on the official. Could be thinking about pulling the plug here. Unless Sabados starts to show something. Hands quick! Massive right hand comes in over the top. Blood starting to flow from the mouth of Sabados, who is just getting turned inside out by everything Shields wants to throw. Sabado staggers back quick, quick, quick. as Shields meets her with another right hand, and I don't know how much more of this Sabados can take. That is it. An emphatic performance from Claressa Shields from start to finish, and let's put this into perspective. Sylvia Sabados has fought for a world title. Sabados has only lost to fighters in the top 10 in their division. And Claressa Shields, in just her second professional fight, just came in and did that. And Sabados trying to plead her case to referee Harvey Dock, but I think she'll realize that it was for the best. A one-sided affair, much to the delight of the fans here in Detroit, Michigan. An electric atmosphere for a historic fight. And let's take a look at how this one ended. And it was that shot right there. The referee was looking for a reason to end this one, and that's as good as any. And, and frankly, it's impressive that Sabados was able to stay on her feet. Because there were a lot of shots from round one into round four that looked exactly like that.
it was clear that this fight was not going to turn around for the veteran Sabados of Hungary. And really, you have to start talking about how quickly Shields now with a regional title, the NABF title, can start looking at world title opportunities at 168, maybe at 160. The drawing power of Shields with her name recognition, those opportunities could come quickly. And frankly, after seeing how easily she dispatched of a quality fighter in Sabados. He's gone rounds with top level fighters from 147 all the way up to 168. This may not be a, a long road to a world title for Ladies Clarissa Shields. Let's make this one official. Let's send it down please, to our ring. Please for both of the boxers in this ring. Referee Harvey Dock steps in to stop this contest at 1 minute 30 seconds of the fourth round for your winner and new NABF Women's Middleweight Champion, Clarissa T-Rex Shields. I'm sure a moment that Clarissa Shields has been waiting for her entire life to headline a card in her home state, less than an hour from where she grew up, from where she learned to box, and become the first woman to headline a card on a premium cable and to perform that way. This dream has come true for T-Rex, Clarissa Shields. What a performance.